How's up, everybody? My name is Ben. Welcome to part two of four, I guess, of the Infinity War showcase. This is the first two. I really made one wave of figures and wanted to do that in one video. I had to do it in two. So watch the first video first because it explains a lot of things about extra figures and stuff. So, yeah. If everyone here has watched that, we can get on into the figures without me having to do weird editing stuff. Uh, here's Doctor Strange. Um, I really like how this figure turned out. He has a Superman hair that I modified. I cut off the curl and did a lot of sanding on that. And I think it looks quite a bit like Benedict Cumberbatch's hairstyle. I really like it. I'm surprised I haven't really seen anyone use it. Um, he has the, uh, trophy piece. I modified it a bit to make the eye of Agamotto um, and then he has a modified Sensei Wu skirt piece as I like to call it um, to make the rest of his cloak I even uh, to whenever we watched it I well I was rewatched all the Marvel movies for Infinity War and I had made him before I watched Doctor Strange and came back and realized that he had it's kind of faint, but he had two strips of his cloak that were uh, set apart a lot more, so I went back and dry brushed those. Um, I, I had a lot of detail right here, but it kind of, the eye of Agamotto kind of ruined it. Um, some different blue colors on the boots, and yeah, that's him. Now we have Wong. Oh, oops. So here's Wong. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite figures. I would definitely say that. I've seen a lot of different Wongs, and originally I didn't like any of them, and I had my own ideas for what I wanted to do. I wanted to give him a white face, and I wanted him to be bald, because I just thought that that fit better, and there was no point of using a different color face. But I started looking at pictures and I decided, oh, I'll give him hair and I'll give him I'll give him the Aladdin face. So I modified the Aladdin ba face a whole lot, everything but the eyes. And I even edited the eyes a little and added a goatee and his eyebrows, just a normal Lego axe, nothing interesting there. Um, since he's kind of simple, I wanted to do something fun, so I wrapped his bell detail all the way around him. I have actually not really done much like that and I even gave him a tiny little sling ring right there. It's really kind of hard to see but I did add that on. And then another modified since I was skirt piece. It kind of floats off. I don't like that. And then some purplish leggings <laughs> kind of. And that's him. Um, next up is um, T'Challa. Now, when I made this, I had, like, only pretty much just a few weeks before made Black Panther for the Black Panther Showcase, link to that uh, at the top there, and so I didn't want to do that again, and so I was like, well, I really liked this costume of T'Challa in the trailers for Infinity War and in, uh, the Black Panther. So I made it. I just used some craft paper to make his trench coat. Uh, it's painted purple with some lots of little silver details. I worked really hard to get the design and uh, just a simple shirt design. And on it, really, his belt there is supposed to be black. But the whole figure was black and it, it was just getting kind of bland to paint. So I made the belt purple. I also gave him a Kamoyo bracelet. Um, cause I thought that looked better, uh, well, made him look better. Baron Mordo face with the beard painted black and modified to look more like, um, why can I not think of his actor's names? Beard. <laughs> and the Kamoyo bead is on the wrong arm. Might have said that already. <laughs> but, yeah, I got that wrong. Next is Shuri. I am mad at myself about this figure because I really feel like I could have done her other outfit but for some reason I chose the most boring outfit but I still got to make her little panther blasters I like how they look um, 
they're not perfect like the sides and the front I love and then the top here just kind of ruins it for me um, lots of little orange details and a little gold zipper there and I modified a, the, uh, the sumo wrestler hair piece to make her hair there I like how it looks quite a bit and I didn't do that much painting on her legs you can still kind of see the printing there because we're not sure what color they are probably shouldn't have even used one of my only pairs of orange legs now we have one last Wakandan technically um, here is Buchanan Barnes or Bucky or White Wolf or Winter Soldier or whatever you want to call him um, so I decided when making this figure that the uh, the classic comic Thor face it had eyebrows that looked a lot like Sebastian Stan so I painted those up but then I accidentally scratched one of them up so it's not perfect um, painted my own beard there um, and then just some uh, classic Bucky hair didn't do anything new because I thought this fit better well I don't know about better I just like how it looks and so lots of little details on his torso there a uh, gun I painted up to be silver um, just some sand green pants it's not really a lot of art shows him having different colored pants um, but I ended up going with this sand green look cuz I thought I gave him a bit of color and it looked nice so um, has black boots and a black little strap there for his knife or gun or whatever now we, we have two last figures and here the teenage Groot I really like this figure I'm not 100% happy with the face though <clears throat> but the rest of the head I do really like um, I painted the t very top of it saying green the rest of it is a uh, just a solid brown color and since I'm like I was just gonna be painting it solid brown and then adding some little details I was like I wanna do something really interesting with this figure so I actually to make him skinnier I did a lot of sanding on the sides of him and I sculpted uh, his two little chest pieces of wood I was gonna sculpt all of it but I had this idea instead to actually cut into the paint and into the plastic to give him this very wooden vibe and I really like how it turns out he does look very very wooden and that's what I wanted him to do so I like that this is my last figure before Infinity War not the last one I made but the last one I'm showcasing and that is Star-Lord I'm not completely done with this guy um, him, Iron Man, and Thanos are really the only ones out of these that I'm not finished with because I want to do a lot of stuff with them. First of all, I want to get the new Jurassic World Owen face that I'm really mad that they did not give to him even though it's literally the same actor and they came out the same year. I don't know, I'm probably way too mad about that. And I want to do some really cool stuff with his helmet. Um, and I'm going to be painting his blasters and redoing his torso because I'm not 100% happy with that. But other than that, he's done. I really like his pants. Um, I just made this Star-Lord a few months ago. And even just from a few months, I've really improved. I did sand this one's hair to make it a little bit more accurate. Um, and then, oh, uh, lots of dark red details on the arms and the I added some on the back as well and on the torso as well I love how the pants turned out I think they look a lot better than this one's pants for example and yeah that's Star Lord that is all of my Avengers Infinity War figures thank you so much for watching this video uh, I have had a blast making these figures and I still have at least nine more and I'm excited to make them plus whoever else Disney is throwing into this conundrum of a movie um the review will come out I don't know I'm probably gonna see the movie twice before I do the review but yeah if you want to see the next part of the custom review stay subscribed once it comes out it'll probably be linked right there or whatever so yeah goodbye